together a run in the second? I just think we came out in the second half flat. We wasn't ready to play. I just think it's that simple. We wasn't ready to play second half. Tyrone over to your right. Those guys had their last three games. Couldn't stop anybody going to the basket. And it looked like at times you guys had success, but then it looked like at times you guys settled for jumpers early in the possession. Was Matt talking about that during timeouts, just getting to the rim as consistently as you could? Uh, yeah, that's that's where we had our problems. Guys taking bad shots in in the offense, as far as you know, in transition and things like that. Um, with a team like this, that, those are the shots that they actually want you to take. And um, we were having some success getting inside. I have no clue why we reverted back to shooting, you know, bad shots. Um, we shot for a stretch there. We shot like four threes in a row, uh, which they they ended up scoring. I think on three out of four of them. So. Uh, I, I just think against a team like that, you can't make mistakes like that. You can't take shots like that um, or you're going to lose. That's, that's it. You did a pretty good job, but the team as a whole, I think there was 30-some free throws that Wisconsin shot. Do, what were the challenges, I guess, then defensively uh, going against this team? It was difficult. I mean, they called a lot of, like, hand check fouls and different things of that matter. So, um, you know, that's tough, especially, you know, you might go somewhere else where they don't call them, and then it kind of differs from game to game. So I think we struggled with that. Um, but, you know, they did a good job of kind of spreading us out, you know, making us have to close out and trying to go by us and, uh, you know, drawing those fouls. And then went to the line and made the shots. So. so two more came in tonight and said for whatever reason, they just didn't feel like they were they were ready to play at the start of either half. And each half start got you in trouble. Yeah. Um, you know, is there a fine line there where guys have got to be accountable or do you feel like something's just not clicking that are producing these these starts that are not yeah. not conducive to winning you know, I didn't think we um, you know did a good job of carrying out our assignment I um, we just got too many guys that play through their offense and especially when you play a team of Wisconsin you got to be able to play their style of basketball and, and beat them at their style of basketball and uh, most fans would go against that because most fans don't understand um, you know how, how to win especially against somebody like that. Um, you got to take care of the ball. You got to be efficient. You got to play good position defense. Um, our positioning on defense was poor, so we're behind plays, and so we foul. And then our guys complain, you know, about the calls. When in reality, I don't know how many they. I don't think they missed too many tonight. I thought the officials were pretty good, um, and uh, we just got behind plays. And when you get behind plays, you're going to react to things. You're going to reach. You're going to try to block, and then you're going to put them to the free throw line too much. And um, we, we have to do a better job finishing, but there's going to be games the ball doesn't go in, and you got to just play well defensively and try to grind it out. And uh, tonight was going to be one of those nights for us, um, but we, we simply didn't do a good enough job on the defensive end. Um, but back to kind of your original thought, um, we, we have to get guys to understand to do little things to help us win. And when they miss a couple shots or they're not getting the looks that they want, um, each guy's a little bit different. Um, we have, you know, we have one guy make two shots, so it gives him the right to take two bad ones. We have one guy who hasn't shot for a while, so then he takes a bad one. It's contagious. It's um, it's a young mind and a young thought, and not understanding winning basketball because it, you know, in ten years at a tailgate, nobody cares who did what. They're just, just going to ask who won the game, and they have to, you know, we have to be a more mature team. When you uh, made AJ the starter again, you you did so with kind of the caveat that you were still worried about a situation like yes. this where he could get those fouls. Yes. Tonight's really the first time that's burned you since then, I think. Yeah. Um, but just where do you think his head is at right now as far yeah. as the way he played tonight, and how did it hurt you tonight specifically with this yeah. matchup? Well, the only thing you can go off of is the actual cause. So in the first call that got called against me, you know, it was a foul. Um, the second one was a moving screen. What I've done in the past with him, and this hasn't happened to him, is when he got an early one, I'd take him out immediately. And a lot of people would say, hey, why do you take him out? Because he'd normally get the next one. But it had been such a long time, and he'd done, he's really done a good job for, um, I don't know what the games are, of playing you know, without fouling. He's really done a good job of being in position. And then he gets a, I thought it was kind of a nickel dimer on a, on a screen, but it was a long way away from me um, on a second foul. And then when he goes back, we talked about him coming back into the game and just you know, not going over the back, not you know, doing some – Basic things, you know, how to play in the first half with two fouls, and immediately he does it. And he just, you know, he didn't, um, you know, keep his discipline um, for a guy that goes back into all players want to go back in with two fouls. They say, oh, I'll be okay, you know, and, and he wasn't pleading to go back in. I just felt the way the game was unfolding, we had to get him back in the flow, playing for three or four minutes so he'd be better in the second half. That was kind of my thinking to kind of have some positive play from him. Um, obviously, he gets his third right away. 
and um, it, that, that, that philosophy didn't work. Matt, Wisconsin, the last three games, has really struggled keeping teams from getting into the paint. Right. And at times, you guys did that well today. But were there some stretches where you had to remind your guys to not shoot open three-pointers like early in the shot? Yes. Clock? That's been not just against Wisconsin, but um, really trying to – I always talk about being patiently aggressive. you got to be able to attack and go right away when it's there, but also have the discipline to move the ball and uh, probe the defense. Um, especially against a set defense when they get back and get set. And uh, when we do a good job of that, it really helps us offensively. Today we didn't. And um, that, that's kind of what I talked about at the initial thing is we got, we got too many guys playing through uh, you know, their scoring. And um, you know, we talk about winning basketball, making winning plays. Um, I, I didn't see a lot of that tonight from our group. I, I, did, I did see and hear from Wisconsin's guys. I thought they did a good job of getting it to where they needed it to be, especially in the second half, and getting their shot. Too many times when we were on offense, we were getting Wisconsin's shot. 